hi guys welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be on the education system in Nigeria <laughs> So by the title, it's pretty much explanatory what I'm going to be talking about in this video. I just wanted to share why I think it's so um, appalling. Okay, there are a few reasons why I think the system over there is um, bad. And the first reason is that I think it's not inclusive. So when I say it's not inclusive, I mean I think that um, it's quite it's sad that um education is only for the people that can afford it and the government are not investing money into education um i don't think they realize how vital and how much of an impact it can ha actually have on their society if they um su at least subsidize their education system so, so they don't even have to make education free like it is in the uk but they could just subsidize it to make it more affordable the second reason i think the education system is poor over there is that they still have corporal punishment now uh as someone who's been to a school in nigeria who's been to a boarding school i felt like uh corporal punishment was not needed to manage classes and um teachers were just using it as like are oh, this kids annoying me today or are oh, this kids not getting the work uh, you know i've previously talked about how i had a learning disability and i was just a class clown because i just didn't understand what was going on so i was just me mess messing about in class and for some people that's yeah you should get beaten for that but for other for other people who think like me it's like instead of you finding the root problem of why the student's acting out you're just beating them and that doesn't help anyone it doesn't help you as a teacher number one because the students are still going to act out and number two it doesn't help the student because they're like I don't get this they're not trying to explain it to me at a pace that I understand they're just beating me so it's I'm never gonna win and thirdly why I think the education system so poor over there they don't take into consideration learning difficulties or um, any sort of special needs that a child would need um, they're still bunched in a class and they're just expected to go at the pace of other people you know there's no help or no support put in place and the fourth and last reason why I think the education system so poor over there is that they have um a system based on ability so i'm not too sure if this is in every school in nigeria but the school i went to it was very much um based on your ability so if you were a smart person you would move up quicker and if you were a slower learner you would um move at a gradual pace or you have to repeat years so when i started boarding school in nigeria it was for, um, for year seven and I had like nine-year-olds in my class it can put a lot of pressure on you as a student and um, just make you feel down about yourself and this is what's so shocking about the system all these emotions that you would feel like you'd feel um, stupid and you feel down off of the people who can afford it you know you've got millions of Nigerians not going to school at all me as someone who advocates for education I know how much of an impact it can actually have on a student's life and um, to not be given that that chance even because of your financial situation is is really sad and really heartbreaking so when I come across initiatives such as the Anna needs a school I support it I share it I give money to it because I believe those things are crucial for Africa as a whole to move forward and Nigeria we need to change our education system because it's appalling that we are failing millions of children every day by not giving them the opportunity to go to school thank you for watching my video I hope you liked it if you did please like share subscribe and all that good stuff and I shall see you in the next one bye